Hello. I'm in pain this morning, and it fucking sucks, but we're back with Finding Paradise. I know it's been a bit um, since I've recorded anything, and I'm sorry, I just... It's hard when, you know, you're feeling kind of like, what am I supposed to do here, you know? Um, it is 7.30 in the morning on January 22nd. So, um, I didn't mean to get up this early, um, but it happened, so. Okay, I did see that it was that. Good try, but I sure don't recall the poster looking like that. You look a little distorted, by the way. You try squeezing in there and looking the same. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Back for more, are you? Hey, I know you're no longer in full control of this place. There's still time. Work with us and we'll make the best of this. The best of this would be you leaving Colin alone. And I'll be the one making sure of that. You know I could take you on now, right? Try me. Jump, defend. So close to fight to beating her too. <sighs> Freaking cool. No, I'm not gonna spend five hours trying to. Sister current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. She clearly ha no longer has full control. There must be something we could do. Yeet. External patch installation initiated. What the? Is that you, Ava? Rogue mental activity detected. This wasn't here before. <coughs> what is this? Note of airport closure. Received note closed airport. Ava, there you are. I'm trying to adjust this a little bit. It's not going well. Hey. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Did you see Faye around here? Don't worry, I took care of her. Already? What'd you do? Oh, and uh, sorry about the mess here. I probably should have cleaned it up. <clears throat> you know, I've been thinking that we should just leave. Wait, what? Patient clearly doesn't want us here. We should respect his wishes. What are you talking about? Patients don't always know what they really want. You of all people should know. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Aww. I guess it's no use. I should know by now, you aren't just gonna leave. I really don't know what to do anymore. But I have to keep going. Even if it just stalls you. Uh. 
Okay, wait, hold on, just a minute. <laughs> Denied. My glasses need cleaned. Keep looking up and seeing it in the webcam. Wow, these clouds sure aren't as fluffy as they look. Okay, so I saw just defend until she sends a rude dog out and then toss a shoe. You've gone on for long enough. But this is where your trespassing ends. Defend. Look, we don't have to do this. Then forfeit. Why are you still here? Defend. You know, for an imaginary character, your attacks are kind of vanilla. Root dog? Ugh, I could really use some help. Attack. Shoo! What the? Rudog has joined the party! Uh, alright. Oh my god. <laughs> Compliment her. <laughs> oh, that heals Watts! That's cute. Question Rudog. This question is ceases to exist. Damn it! I fucked that one up. I should have kept him. Shoo. Shoo. Dog, I'm gonna need you to heal me. Rocket dog, what's that do? <laughs> oh, that was good. Okay. Defend. Heal. Okay. I'll just keep defending and have Rudog just take her out. <laughs> Come on, one more hit. One more hit. Rocket dog nailed it. I'm warm. I need to roll up these sleeves. Well, that was a hoot. I beg to differ. Only because. You didn't realize you could lose the dog. <laughs> ah, shoot. Rudog's still up there. I forgot to thank him. No. Oh. But why do you help me? Shouldn't y'all made up Beans act in unison of Colin's subconsciousness? Maybe even Colin himself isn't always so sure of what he wants, but so what? I thought you tempted him with it's no surprise that he got lost. That's okay though. 
He may not know what he wants, but I know what he needs. Look, you may be a part of his mind, but you clearly don't speak for his entirety. Could it be that you're wrong? I mean, no offense, but you aren't much more than an incomplete copy of Colin back there. In fact, I'm not even sure if there's a point in talking to you right now. <clears throat> After all, you're just an ethereal figment of his imagination that never even existed. Perhaps so, but is that any different from what you're here to do? Whoomst! Oh, Ava! Ava? Hey, sorry, I had to head out for a moment there. She's all in Colin's head, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm intimately familiar with that fact by now. But what were you doing? You just bailed on me. I was out administering sedatives to curb Colin's brain activity. Not sure how his mental process could override us, but it was getting out of hand. So that wasn't a Christmas miracle after all. It took a while to work out the dosage, as we still need his brain functioning. Seems like it's working though. The effort should be sinking in more. The effect should be sinking in more now. Wow, just what have you been dealing with over here? Don't ask. <laughs> Yeet! What the heck is that? Just some new code Roxy sent me. She said she saw issues with the machine earlier and we and knew we'd be in trouble. We're at a patch in the car while Rob was driving, apparently. <laughs> Show off. Did, uh, did she say anything else about the machine? Aside from you doing a crappy job with self-repairs? No, not like there was much time to talk. Actually, I'm still not sure if Colin is stable enough for this to work yet. <sighs> Seems like the sitters still need to sink in a bit more. This isn't good. We don't have time to wait around anymore. Actually, let me try something. You just wait here, because uh, she might come back this way. Hey, hold on a minute. It's only a matter of time now, isn't it? May not be able to beat you, but don't count on my compliance. No, I'm not here to actually wait. Wow, it worked. What, now you're bringing me here to get back at me for earlier? No, I brought you here for privacy. This place should be off the record, even from Ava. Uh-huh, and what do you want? Your cooperation? I thought we went over that already. Sure, but now I have something to offer you in return. What can you possibly offer me? Something mutually beneficial, actually. And even if you don't care for it, I have a feeling that Colin would. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> How'd it go? She never came back this way. Well... How? Pure talent. Rox has her, has her tricks and I have mine. Okay, no need to overcompensate. Are we good to go then? Yeah, she won't be bothering us any longer. Now that she'd be able to anyway with sedatives setting in. Well, that effect's only temporary. We have a little time as it is. Come on, let's move on already while we still can. And I do, but sheesh, are they just spreading hibiscus seeds wherever they go?
I knew the two was too easy. Okay. Now that. Oh boy. There we go. I can't get them lined up that way, can I? Okay. I got it. It took a little bit. I don't even really know what I did, honestly. <laughs> okay. I just kind of clicked buttons. Well, let's go and see what we find in the vort at the vortex of all this. I have a guess. Well, here's another one of these. Didn't exactly stick that soft field landing, huh? Not like I had much practice on the actual grass strip. So, uh, you think this is a case of schizophrenia? Well, with that, the patient usually has trouble actively distinguishing delusion from reality. But in this case, I get the feeling that he's actually well aware of it. Still can't say for certain, but I'm leaning towards some kind of defense mechanism instead. Maladaptive daydreaming. A more curious question is how she's able to materialize here so vividly. That being said, could she still hear us? I don't know about that, but this should be just a normal memory playback now. Hello, music. What you waiting for? Come on! Have you ever heard of the phrase, stop and smell the roses? There are flowers on top of the hill too, you know. I'll race you there! thinking it's a little windy today maybe we should come back some other time instead oh don't be such a downer we're practically already there hey remember when we played catch me if you can the wind wasn't there a moment ago the matter now let's just rest here for a while again you barely walked any steps hey I'm the one who has to carry this thing uphill oh I just thought you'd have gotten stronger by now that's all the cello got bigger too you know just come and sit here with me for a bit will you do you remember the first time we came here 
which first time? The second one, I guess? The one where I tried to race you up the hill. Oh yeah, that was a dumb move. You sure were excited to take me up there, though. Yeah, it had been a while since I took anyone there. Oh. Still one of my favorite places. I've always liked how it overlooked the city. Really has been a while, hasn't it? I rather miss going there. So why are you hesitating? Hmm? We're mere steps away from there, you know? Why are you stopping every step along the way? Stop kidding yourself, Colin. You're not tired and it's not the wind. You've already come so far. You know as well as I what we have to do. I am confusion. Go around the rock. Oh, over here. First time we came here. That was the first time I accompanied you to play the skills, too, wasn't it? Yeah, it helped. It still does, actually. Well, no one likes to practice skills alone. But you could never actually hear what I was playing, could you? That's gonna be the thumbnail for this. <laughs> it's nice up there today. It always is. You don't have to leave anymore. I can fly now. Wherever you go, I can go with you. You really are stubborn, aren't you? you think you're getting a bit too old for me to stay? People would laugh at you if they knew. They can laugh all they want, I don't care. You made me who I am today. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing the cello because of you. You taught me to practice the scales? No, Colin. I can't teach you anything you don't know, nor can I make you do anything you don't want. Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. <sighs> Even if it was just someone like me. I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. You've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Sometimes stepping out of this little world we've made is the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things all around you. I just don't want to be alone. Sure, if I go you'll be alone at times, even when you don't want to be. But it's all a part of growing up, and it's all a part of life. It's what makes fleeting moments with loved ones treasured and our memories precious. 
It's also what drives you to seek out what you wouldn't find if you just stayed here with me. There's a lot out there just waiting for you, Colin. I can't promise it'll always be good, but... I know you won't find all that you need living only in the pages in these pages of ours. You brought me into this world, and I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to stay, some are only meant to carry you so far. In my own way, you know I'll always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, if it's something we could do, then it's something you could do. What do you say, Colin? Are you ready? I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for it to end. I don't care what you are or aren't. You are my first real friend. Hey, this doesn't have to be the end for us. One day, you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that day, I'll come back once more. We'll talk like how we used to talk, and you'll tell me about your day. No, about your life. You'll tell me about what a happy life you've had and all the nice memories you've made. You might not have such a happy life, you know? You're such a downer, you know that? Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will. I know you will. It may take a long time, and it may take a lot of work and effort. But when that day comes, I know you have lots of happy memories to share. Ah, it's almost time. How much have you written that book by now? You've replaced its pages so many times, huh? I must talk a lot. Sorry about that. But now that I'm going, perhaps you could finally spare some more pages for other things. It's your book. You don't have to always write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? Same book filled with all kinds of different pages, as it should be. Take care of yourself, alright? Hey. I still haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. A long, long time ago. She never came back, did she? Oh, I don't have tissues. <laughs> Guess not. I wonder if she's a cause or an effect. As 
in, do you think Colin's unhappy because she never came back again? If Colin only wanted to see her again, I doubt he would have needed to call us. Yeah, so perhaps her absence at the end meant she was already meant that he was already unhappy by then. Back to square one. And he is about to die. This place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time left. Let's move. We have to make do with what we have. Wait. Do we even know what we're doing with them yet? We've got a few ideas to try, but we still need to link the mementos first. Let's get back to the world and figure things out while we do that. Alright. Oh, what the heck? Uh, wait, just a... What? In my own way, I'll always be there to protect you. What? What just happened? Neil? What's taking you so long? This place is falling apart. There's no time to wait for him. Okay. Okay, chill, chill, chill. I... Okay. What's this one, then? I don't know what this one is. Is it... Okay, I, I get it. I get it. Is it the... Is it... No. Oh my god. I am... Stressed. I'm just gonna assume it's the planes. Even though it's not... <sighs> book. Book, 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 book. Fucked it up. <sighs> okay. Neither of these have the fucking flower. I need the planes. <sighs> God. <sighs> okay. Cello case. These last two. It's the plane. Okay, okay, okay. Fucking chill. I think that's all of them, but. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Is that a... What is happening? <laughs> what is this place? memories they're falling apart <laughs> call them but when you go through the procedure and live that new life 
just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Via. I won't forget about you. Oh my god. I'm gonna save real quick. Okay. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly there's no more time. I find myself here just like everyone else. I just want to feel like I've done enough in the world before I go, you know? That's why we're here, Colin. Tell us your regrets. What is that you want us to fix? to do all we want no matter what we do there'd always be other things we'd want to try or other paths to take shit 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 did it spill on your dress hey just one more excuse to go jump in the lagoon You know, we don't have to waste all that lemon juice. Have you ever tried writing with it? Lemon juice? No, why? <laughs> I'm prepared to be mind blown by some elementary school magic. Look at this, it's invisible ink. Invisible ink. Yep, the writing appears in color only when you heat the paper up. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it been a while since I've written. Well, never too late to start again. How about a letter? To who? Each other, of course. We could write about this trip. It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? At the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote of it all. not part of that memory earlier. Where's the thing? Not there. Oh God, I'm stuck here. What do I do? We all have regrets, be it writing a wrong or a dream long past. At Sigma Core, we, we give you a second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Wait, these don't seem like just randomly scattered memories. Could it be that the sedative's wearing off? You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. You're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually here. I 
I know it's mesmerizing here, Faye spoke after a pause, shifting her gaze back up to the sky. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Okay, look, I got it. I got your message, you hear me? I know you're still here, you can come and get me now. Damn it, I really thought it was her. Huh? Uh, wait, is that really the only way to- Ah! have you been? I figured it out, Ava. I figured out the impossible. I mean, it took an unholy amount of spoon feeding, but I guess that's what it takes when we're on the inside of it. What are you talking about? Yes, just what are you talking about? Hey, Faye. How you doing? The sedative wore off already? You don't sound too happy about it. We're here to help Colin, and you're the mental process that's in the way. Well, lucky for you, that can be amended now, can it? So, looks like we're about out of time. If you're gonna erase me for good, you might as well hurry. No, we're not gonna erase you. We're going to erase us. Wait, what? Colin never needed our service, Ava. He already had her. The ability to change his reality, to live in a different world. One that filled the gaps of what he wanted, all in his head. She is what we do, Ava. And yet she left. She left, which could have only meant one thing. Wait, what are you trying? What you're trying to imply? No, that can't be right. What we do is different from just this. How is it different? We, because there's more to it. There's more to what we do. We fulfill wishes, we give meaning to people's lives. What we do, it has to be more than just that of an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate, for sure. But for someone who had to fight just to let go of fantasy and embrace reality? Maybe our existence was merely an unwelcome amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe, the imaginary and the endless possibilities that make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you too. Things aren't looking good with the patient. I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to get out of there. And by might wanna, I mean need to. After all that, huh? That's none of this even matters anymore. There's no way we'd still have the time to implement any actual changes. No, we might not have the time. But what about her? She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Without us, all procedures would be internalized. So much could be done in a fraction of a moment. Here. Suggesting giving sole control of the machine to a mental process of the patient? The ethical implications of that hasn't been done for good reasons. It hasn't been done because no patient has had a chance like this. Besides, what's our alternative? Just leave and mark this as a write-off? But what about legal complications? In the contract it says... Oh, come on, Ava. When has the contract stopped us? Uh, guys? 
go on. I'll be right behind. Don't say I never trust you. Why are you doing this for us? Well, if I were Colin and all my last breath, I'd trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? Strangers, huh? Your colleague was right about one thing. There is more to what you do than just playing God with people's memories. You've been here for just a day, yet... In all of his life, no one else has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. And well, you're kind of the first I've been able to meet, too. In some silly way, maybe that's a part of what Colin really wished for. It was one heck of a meet and greet, that's for sure. Full admin access transfer to unknown credential Fay. You gonna be alright? Just a little nervous, I guess. Well, given the circumstances, I'd say that's pretty alright. Hey. Do you think that in some ways I've truly existed? Well, for what it's worth. I think all our memories and everything in it can be nothing but the fiction we tell ourselves. Good luck out here. Colin's counting on you. Blood pressure is dropping. Vital signs are fading fast. I think he's letting go. I'm sorry for your loss. Please take all the time you need. I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. When they're ready, I'll let them know. Oh, it's a little stark, isn't it? Seen it like this after just having been in there? Eh, it is what it is. Just a little cold. Felt warmer in there. What we did back there. Do you know if it worked? Hard to say. I'll try and dig through the data afterward, but... Well, it's never been done like this before. I don't know how coherent it'd be. Guess we got another mess of a report to write. Let me take care of that when the dust settles. In the meantime, I just remembered something.
so did you succeed? There was a complication. We tried to cope with something unorthodox, but not sure if I'll ever know what really happened in those last moments. Hey, Sophia said you, you got a lighter? Uh, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> All the grass on the other side. Is it only greener in my mind? I'd still want it the same because trading by yesterday is to wish.
Hey, Faye. Looking for something, old timer? It's been a while, huh? A long while. You haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? Listen, I wish you were under better circumstances, but... I know. I wish I still had the time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay. I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing, though. Do you still have any regrets? Regrets? Yeah, I have a lot of those. But, that's okay. Chances I miss the mishaps and all that I wish I had. Well, they were all still a part of it. They made way for all that I do have. And what I do have, I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. That's all I wish to hear. Go on. They're waiting for you. It's time to go home. Hey, Colin? Sorry I had to leave back then. Thank you for having been there, even when nobody else was. Con Reeves go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see um, ow, if there's like a scene at the end like with uh, To the Moon because I know there's one at the end of To the Moon with Neil so I want to see if there's something else like that. I'm wiping my nose on my sleeve, but I don't have tissues. <laughs> Laura Shaky Heart, man. She always hits you in the feels. And I also did find out that all of the fights with Faye, I could have won every single one of those. <laughs> I was just really fucking bad. <laughs> Are we 
gonna get another game from you guys this year? I must know. I'm invested. Yep. Sup? Where are you? At my scotch, drinking home. You said you'd be here. I said I'd visit, like we always do, not attend the funeral. When was the last time we even did that? I know, but I just thought we owe it to him after... Dr. Rosalind, we're about to start. Go on, I'll get my turn. Alright, enjoy your scotch. You know it. Now, where were we? Oh, hi, Roxy. Ooh, not looking sketchy at all, Neil. I asked you to knock, not hack my lock. So you to digital is a terrible idea. Why don't you just keep both locks on? Heck, never, Rob. I don't know how... Why she even got you involved. Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? You betcha. So, is that the solution you were talking about? Solution? Yeah, that's her. Episode 2, Finding Paradise. Ding! I didn't do the other stuff. <laughs> Thank you for having been part of this. I still cried, but it didn't hit me as hard as To the Moon. But I also have a sense of nostalgia with To the Moon, so that's probably part of why To the Moon really hit me really hard, but this is still very emotional. Um, I'm excited to see if there will be any more games out by these guys, because that would be wonderful. Um, but I will end this here so give me a moment here so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed hit the like button if you'd like to see more of the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to get notified when i post sharing the video will be appreciated as well i have several links in the description if you'd like to support me in any way shape or form so go check them out and i'll see you all next time goodbye